Shake it up the fire. The only thing that matters, Lord, is you. I think it's hard to pretend that I'm not missing you. I know you're in the the same hands that hold my heart. I cherish every moment we spend as a gift from God. Cause He takes care of all fragile hearts. And when I think Think about life, Lord. I think of you. I forget about everything else. There's only you. I I can't think about ever giving up. Oh no, I can't give up. The only thing that matters, Lord, is you. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, family. This one hit me. This one hit me. Uh, somebody I met, a little boy, way back in 1975. Uh, wow, childhood star, actually. Um, electric company, um, Flash, um, I mean, what a feeling, y'all remember from Flash Dance, the song, Fame, wow, the Oscar winning, what a feeling singer, Irene Cara, who also starred in Fame and sang the movie's theme song, was found dead in her Florida home, age just 63. Many fans refused to believe the sad news after recent death hoax targeted the star. Anyway, she was found inside her home in Largo. Oh, boy. Man. Carol was a child performer into the national spotlight playing Coco Hernandez in the hit. No, she actually entered the show business way before that, um, along with Morgan Freeman. Uh, they came on The Electric Company. The Electric Company. The Electric Company. Yeah. Forgot about that, huh? Wow. This one, this one hurts. This one really hurts. Because I feel like we kind of was in show business together, and um, for religious purposes, I could not continue. Um, but I watched her success, and I was very happy for her success. And she's an Academy Award winning uh, singer. Oh, man. Anyway, Irene Cara, 63. Passed away, and uh, they found her in her home. So there's no cause of death. It's currently unknown, and will be released when the information is available. But everybody thought it was a hoax because uh, a little while ago, just a couple weeks ago, there was a hoax that um, something about her in her home. Sorry if this is true, but I'm afraid after the hoax, it's difficult to believe. That's what somebody wrote. She joins a long list of celebrities who have been victimized by this hoax. News, however, confirmed Saturday's announcement was real. Added that we're all in shock. I mean, so her publicist sent out a a statement 
She said, it is with profound sadness that on behalf of her family, I wish to announce the passing of Irene Cara, the Academy Award winning actress, singer, songwriter, and producer passed away in her Florida home. The cause of death is currently unknown and will be released when the information is available. Irene's family has requested privacy as they process their grief. She was a beautifully gifted soul whose legacy will live forever through her music and films. Funeral services are pending and a memorial for her fans will be planned at a future date. Rest in power, Irene. Uh, this is a uh, this is this is sad news for me. Um, like I said, we go back a long way. We, it was not that we were friends, but we have met before, and uh, as kids. And so, uh, wow, this one, this one really kind of hit. And um, you don't know what happened. She was born in the Bronx as uh, Irene Escalera. Cara had humble roots. Her mom, Louise, was a cashier while her father, Gaspar, was a steel worker and a musician. Cara inherited her father's talent, becoming a trained singer, actor, and dancer who made Many on stage and uh, many on stage and television appearances as a child, including on PBS and Johnny Carson's show. The performer then rocketed to fame in 1980, playing Coco Hernandez in the hit musical Fame. She received two Grammy nominations for the musical and Best New Artist and Female Pop Vocal Artist. Kara went on to win a Grammy and an Oscar in 84 with the title track to Flashdance, which started Jennifer, which starred Jennifer Beals. Uh, all I can say is uh, rest in power, Irene. And, uh, you or your work will never be forgotten. You touch many lives. And, um, you know, I, she was a truly gifted individual. And uh, we will find out what happened, I'm sure, in the days to come. Uh, in the meantime, to all the fame, or the cast of fame, and people that worked on Sparkle, Tony King, who was also a member of the nation. Um, anyway, this is sad. But I, I, I'm going to see y'all in the next video.